What's up my dudes, it's Ozifer and today we're opening the new Costco 2-pack. These come with an ETB and a window tin. Now, the 2-packs themselves can come in several different variations. When, for the ETB itself, you can either get them in Chilling Rain or Revolving Skies. And for the window tin, these can come in six different options. You can get them in this set with the Mew. It can either have a Mew promo, a Lucario promo, or a Galarian Slowbro promo. And I can't recall off the top of my head what's inside the tins, but for sure there's one Evolving Skies inside this set of the window tins. The other set of window tins, you can get all three of the Kanto Evolutions. So that's Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. In those window tins, you can get two Evolving Skies among the other packs. There's four packs all together in these window tins. Uh, and of course, the Chilling Rain ETBs can come in both Ice Rider and the Shadow Rider art. Now, when I went to Costco, I went there a couple hours after opening and the Evolving Skies had already been scalped. It is what it is. We're left with just the Chilling Rain, which is fine. These came in at $54.99 Canadian. So it was just a really good deal. People are already selling the Evolving Skies secondhand on Facebook for uh, about $100 Canadian. Let's open this up and see what's inside. So once you've got it open, here's your two products, the window tin, the ETB. And on the back of these ETBs, you can see here that there's the three different foil promos you can get. There's the Lucario, the Slowbro, or the Mew. It comes with four packs and of course the code card. For the ETB, we will skip most of the contents in the box. I don't want to dive too deep into it because in the near future, I do have multiple ETB vid videos coming out. So I don't want to explain this one too much. We'll just focus on what kind of packs you can get and what kind of hits you can get inside the two pack. With the Mutin all opened up, let's see what the unboxing of this thing looks like. So once you take off the lid, there's your Mew promo. Uh, I picked the Mew promo specifically because if you're if you've been in this channel for a while, you know that I've been running a Mew VMAX deck. So I wanted the tin itself just for the Mew art. And here are the four packs inside. So you get two Astral Radiance, a Fusion Strike, and just the one Evolving Skies like I mentioned. And inside the tin is nothing else. So tin is great for storage. The code card is probably behind the promo. And for the ETB, we will zoom past this one. Here's just a quick look at the sleeves in it and the dividers. Keep in mind that you can get this in the Shadow Rider form as well. I just got it in the Ice Rider form. I like the blue better than the purple. The die look really nice, uh, but we won't get too much into that. Let's actually start off with Evolving Skies and then end it off with all eight Chilling Rains. With the first pack of Evolving Skies, I bet you this is the first time you've seen it. Usually, I guarantee you, everyone saves these Evolving Skies packs for last. No, not us. We're gonna open it first because we get that first pack luck, baby. These cards feeling pretty, uh, pretty normal. We get the fire energy and maybe if we can get any of the alt art in the Evolving Skies, that's the biggest W I will have ever get. Reverse Hollow Gold Duck into the regular rare Lilligant. And that's why we always start with Evolving Skies. I don't want to save it for last because I just set myself up for disappointment. With Fusion Strike, I want me another Mew V or another Mew V Max or another White Gold Card, no thanks. Or another Gengar Alt Arts. So let's see if these Fusion Tins will even give us a hit. Not the Fusion Tin, sorry, the Window Tin. So remember, it came with four packs. This is already our second pack. And we just get the regular rare Latias with the Reverse Hollow Kufant. Now the last two packs in the Window Tin are Astral Radiance. With our 20% hit rate, four packs is probably not enough with our luck to get a hit. But I wouldn't mind that, honestly. If we cannot get a hit in these four packs from the tin, I would love to save all our luck for the ETB. Because Chilling Rain, a lot of people don't like the Chilling Rain set, but I think it's very underrated. So many alt arts in Chilling Rain, so many cards that are decent value. 
and just a regular rare Glaceon. With our last pack in the tin, we do get that black code card. I didn't shuffle the order of the packs, so maybe, just maybe, Costco's like, hey, let us, let us put the hit at the end and set these guys up for nothing but happy memories with our products. There's the Reverse Hollow Quillava, our first hit of the night. There it is, <laughs> the Orangaroo V, okay. Not my favorite Pokemon, but I have seen this sometimes in use for battling on TCG Live. So maybe it's not that bad, but of course it's our first V hit. It will go in a sleeve and sit at the back. Now if that tin was the only thing we opened, four packs, one hit, we made it over our 20% average. Now let's see if we can maintain that average with the Chilling Rain packs. We have eight of them to go. Remember 12 packs total? We might actually be replacing the Umbreon VMAX in the back today. This, this ETB feels special. Karen's Conviction. We don't want them Karens here. But would that big hit be in the first pack? The Reverse Hollow Reboot? Last time we had a reverse hollow fire type, we got a hit. And ooh, just the regular rare Doug Trio. That's a pretty cool one. That's my first Doug Trio of that kind. Here we go, second pack. But there's the grass type. Echoing Horn, another meta, uh, slightly meta card that is kind of fun to use in certain situations. We have the cast form, rainy form, into the Snover, another reverse hollow fire type, and oh, let's go, a Celebi V. <laughs> okay, that's already our second hit. We're keeping that up. There we go. That's my first Celebi V. I like it much better than the Orangaroo, but I'm not, hey, listen, I'm not complaining about the Orangaroo. We are on pack number three. I need to increase my knowledge. The Fighting Energy, Flappy, another Karen. We got the Wedding Gloves. JK is Weeding Gloves. Into the Kung Fu, Blitzel, Quillfish, Galarian Slowpoke, Weedle, Ooh, now we have the reverse hollow Doug Trio and the regular rare Obama Snow. But here is the halfway point of the ETB. Don't forget, I did say that this ETB feels special, right? Costco, you wouldn't make me a liar now, would you? Last time someone made me a liar, I had to apologize. Expedition Uniform, that's new. I haven't seen that card before. The Peonia, another name I don't really know how to say, but this time we have the Snowy Form, Cast Form. Ghastly, one of my favorites, because of the Gengar. There's the Reverse Hollow Agatha into the Zero Aura V. Let's go, I think this is a dupe for me now at this point. This will be my second Zero Aura V. I do plan on doing something special with my duplicate Vs. Uh, once I have enough, I'll probably bring them to my local hobby store and see if I could get some trade-in value for them and either get another single that I really want or maybe depending on the value of all my trade-ins, get some closed sealed products. But we'll see, because most of my dupes are only worth like a dollar. So I'm probably gonna end up trading in like four or five cards for like one single. Even if like, that's assuming they're gonna accept my my trade-ins. I don't know if they wanna bother with like one dollar cards. I haven't really asked, but I'll bring my binder in one day once I have enough dupes. And with this pack, we get the Kecleon into the regular rare Volcarona. I'm very excited for the Scarlet and Violet sets to come out with the guaranteed hollows that are in the pack. Just will always give you something to look forward to. But I, I have to remind myself repeatedly not to get ahead of myself with Scarlet and Violet because Crown Zenith is coming out very, very soon. I pre-ordered the Pokemon Center ETBs. So a slight spoiler alert, you will see those videos coming up next week. Um, I did get the alert that my product has been shipped. So maybe we get it early. If we get it early, I can cover it earlier. Here's the reverse hollow wheezing and the regular, oh, this is a hollow bee drill. Okay, our first hollow hit. We're on our second to last pack. Now, I did say this is a special, special ETV, right? So we'll see how this pack and the last pack treat us. If we don't end up getting anything special, I'm gonna remain positive and say good. Let's get all that bad luck out of the way. 
because with all the Crown Zenith products I have lined up for purchase, we're gonna need to save all our luck there. I did see some leaked photos of all the cards in the set, and there's our Galarian Surfetched into the, again, regular rare Volk Corona. So I did see leaked images of the Crown Zenith set of all the cards, and there's a lot of cards in there that I'd like to chase. I don't want to spoil it, I don't want to leak any information as well, so as soon as I get my Crown Zenith products, we will enjoy everything in there together. So make sure to like and subscribe if you want to keep up with those videos. We put out a video every Monday right now, and I'd like to do it more often, but it's not as easy as you think. This is our last pack. And there's the Lapras into the Reverse Hollow Spirit Tomb. And last pack, Magic. Can you give it to us? No, just a regular Rare Scalipede. I don't know if it's Costco, or I don't know if it's these two packs, but I did see a couple other videos of people opening these packs, and they didn't have the best luck either. But out of 12 packs, we did get three hits. That's still a 25% hit rate. Can't complain because anytime we're above the 20% hit rate, we do call that a W. So we got the Zara Aura V, the Celebi V, and the Orangaroo V. No alt arts from the Chilling Rain, but we are happy with the hit rate. Now in the comment section below, let me know what's your guys' favorite Pokeball. Mine is the Quick Ball. Not for the aesthetic reasons, but playing the game, I just love throwing the quick ball first turn and catching that Pokemon right away. Help saves a lot of time, especially when you're farming. But for everyone else, I assume your answer will be aesthetically related. So let me know down below what's your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week for some Crown Zenith products. Thank you. Bye.